In addition to friction losses from the uh, wall shear stress on the on the pipe, we also have what are commonly referred to as minor losses for things like entries and exits and fittings and so on. And they occur because of secondary flows that develop. For instance, these recirculation zones that happen just inside a pipe entry that take energy out of the flow and don't put it back into pressure recovery further downstream. So if we have a reservoir out here with a sharp edged entry like this, these recirculation zones take a fair bit of energy out. And the result is that they have a minor loss coefficient of 0 0.5. Now what is that minor loss coefficient? It's the number of dynamic heads that are lost. So if the flow in here has a kinetic energy of v squared over 2g, then half that much is lost right here in the entrance. So the minor losses are this loss coefficient times v squared over 2g for a single element in the flow. If you have multiple fittings, multiple entrances or exits, uh, elbows, T's, valves, things like that, then the total uh, minor losses will be the sum of all the K values times V squared over 2G for the whole piping system. Now it's amazing how much we can reduce that minor loss coefficient, get it down from about 0.5 down to about 0.025 just by putting a little bit of rounding on that entry, just by smoothing off that sharp edge just a little bit, we virtually eliminate that loss. So whenever you're designing flow systems, it's nice to get a little rounding on there. Even if we don't do it smoothly and, and, and with a nice rounding, even if we just chamfer that edge at 45 degrees just a little bit, we'll get from 0.5 down to 0.2. Here are some other examples of uh, minor loss coefficients. If we have a reentrant entry, that is a pipe that sticks out into the reservoir, that creates even more recirculation, an even messier entrance flow. And depending on the geometry of this situation, the K factor will be somewhere between 0.5 and 1. Now, if we're looking at a sudden contraction, not coming from an infinitely large reservoir, but from a larger pipe into a smaller pipe, then K will be around 0 0.5 for the diameter ratio getting towards zero. That is, the small pipe is much, much smaller than the large pipe. And that's really the same situation as a sharp entry from an infinite reservoir. K gets smaller as the ratio between these two gets closer and closer. And again, you can go to tables for the values of, uh, of that coefficient. Similarly, K is 1 for sudden increases for D over D on the order of 0 i.e. less than about 0.1. And k is equal to 1 for sudden expansions. If we go out into an infinite reservoir, k is equal to 1. Now this makes sense because all of the kinetic energy that we have here, or all of the kinetic energy that we have here, when we go out into that expansion, it's all just dissipated into turbulence. So this k value of 1 is for sure. Regardless of the geometry of this exit, we have a jet coming out here and it dissipates all that kinetic energy. So unlike the entrance, we can't fix anything by rounding this off. The jet still behaves the same way. We could have a very slow expansion here, a diffuser, in which case we could reduce that loss coefficient considerably because we get pressure recovery. That's this situation here where the flow is diffusing, the pipe is getting slowly larger and larger, and the k-factor for this kind of a configuration depends on the angle. And it's lowest for an angle of about 6 degrees. So that's a very, very slow expansion there. You, but to do that, if you, if you have that angle, you'll get close to getting the full uh, Bernoulli recovery. So V squared over 2G here will mostly turn into P over rho G by the time you get out to here at an angle of around 6 degrees. 
So this diffuser allows for partial pressure recovery. And this can be a significant energy recovery if we have a large amount of kinetic energy in this pipe flow. It's usually more significant in gas flows than in liquid flows. For instance, air flows in ducts that you'd find in a heating and ventilating system.